Before arriving in Park City, Utah, I found it difficult to believe all the wonderful things I was hearing about it. On arriving in Park City, Utah, I found it difficult to believe I didn't live here already. The natural landscape is breathtaking, and the outdoor activities are endless and truly world class. The people are extremely friendly, and the town's full of restaurants and art galleries. My name's Mark Thomas, and I'm here today to review this beautiful arts and crafts inspired property, which lies in the heart of one of the world's finest playgrounds. Park City is fast becoming a major destination for all things cultural. Every year, the Sundance Film Festival fills the streets with celebrities and the entourages that follow. There are music and art events all year round, and all this is just 30 minutes away from the International Airport at Salt Lake City. On first glance, the property immediately exudes Frank Lloyd Wright's influence, exhibiting obvious examples of what he considered organic architecture. As the pedigree of this property grows, I will now add the prestigious location. The gated Glenwild community is a pristine, exclusive 950 acres, minutes from Park City and located within the Park City School District. The landscape is naturally beautiful and that area of snow-covered mountains and valley you see from the windows in the spring becomes a world-renowned golf course. Designed by Tom Fazio, it has been rated as Utah's number one golf course since it opened in 2004. Within walking distance of the house, that enormous mountain-style estate is actually the Glen Wild Country Club, which comprises 39,000 square feet of luxuriously appointed facilities. This includes spa and treatment center, heated year-round swimming pool, fitness center, and fine dining. From this wonderful country club, you may choose to be the centre of the Glenwild social scene, indulging in some of my greatest pleasures, eating, drinking and playing golf. Or you may wish to relax in the spa all day, and in the evenings retire to the lounge with a favourite cocktail and enjoy the magnificence of the sun setting behind the mountains. I could spend an hour simply talking about the luxury and lifestyle that membership to a prestigious club like this affords. The house is designed for year-round enjoyment, demonstrated by the heated driveway and patios, ensuring that although the climate may become extreme, you can sit back and relax. You enter the property from under a grand covered portico, which allows you the privilege of unloading your belongings from your car without having to deal with the elements. Through the gorgeous stained glass door, and you're immediately aware of how spacious and airy the house feels. This may be due to the fact the phrase open plan actually originated to describe the architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright, as in the late 19th century, designs of this kind had never been seen before. The present owner is a collector of art and a lover of the Art Deco period, and the result is a wonderful juxtaposition between the straight and angular lines of the house and the soft rounded curves of the furniture. Whatever direction you look, it is impossible to ignore the remarkable views through the expansive windows. A view which, I should mention, will always be there, as building within the sightline of the mountains and golf course is prohibited. Unless, of course, you were the one who wanted to expand the property, as there's ample space for additions. The great room has high lofty ceilings and is centered on an arched brick fireplace, which is striking in its simplicity, yet so unusual in its design. It also introduces us to another iconic designer, Gustav Stickley who continued and furthered the arts and crafts movement as a rebellion against the over-elaborate Victorian designs, and along with his brothers, gave us such classics as the Prairie Settle and a complete legacy of mission furniture and lifestyle. The most defining thing about this house's architecture from the outside is the tower, and from the inside you understand why. It gives 270 degree unrestricted views of the mountains through the lower windows which were intentionally kept clear. The architect, Mr. Bruce Taylor, was a wise enough man to realise that human design, as creative as it may be, cannot compete with a picture painted by the natural landscape. As Mr Frank Lloyd Wright once said, I believe in God, I only spell it N-A-T-U-R-E. The upper windows, worn like a crown, are embellished with the art glass design, drawing your eyes skyward towards the wonderful chandelier. The house is full of exposed natural elements, and the dining room is no exception with the open beam ceiling and support pillars. 
Once again, the geometry of the house is softened by the rounded ends of the beautiful French Art Deco walnut dining table and the pair of Italian Murano art glass chandeliers. The office is beautifully decorated and again displays a wall of windows giving wonderful light, but in my opinion, making this area completely counterproductive, as I know for sure I'd be totally unable to focus on work with those incredible views. This beautiful eating kitchen displays all the finest points of craftsman workmanship. The cabinetry is all solid mahogany and the peg joints are a contrasting colour as if to demand you notice the quality of the craftsmanship. It is appointed with the finest appliances and with ample granite surface space to cater to the largest events. After all, it would be almost rude to keep a beautiful house like this to yourself. Behind the breakfast table, the wonderfully patinated brick wall was reclaimed from a demolished historic Park City Main Street building, giving a great texture to this very organic feeling space. As you make your way up the hallway, you come across the expansive master bedroom suite. The contrast created by the light walls and the dark beams is beautiful, and for those cosy winter months it's had its own fireplace. The outdoors are once again embraced through a bank of large windows and framed with a beautiful Swedish birch veneer cornice. The suite is complete with a wonderful bathroom with a whimsical beach atmosphere, which is finished with mosaic glass tile and light oak cabinetry. No bedroom like this comes without the huge walk-in his and hers closet. There are, of course, other bedrooms, each with ensuite bathrooms and all beautifully appointed. In an area of such natural beauty, I believe I would actually be grateful for the night time in order to appreciate the many wonderful things about the house and not staring hopelessly out the windows at the magnificent view. While I'm in the grip of an immediate and unavoidable love affair with Park City, I believe I've finally found a lifestyle to aspire to. I can't imagine a more beautiful place to live with access to so many great things. I can only hope that one day, the toughest decision I have to make is which of the region's world-class activities am I going to enjoy today. There's no doubt I'll be back here soon.